What's up everyone, Master Fox here today and um, I'm going to bring you guys a budget deck profile of a deck that you guys may know of already and it's the Battery Man deck. So this deck is honestly very very inexpensive and it has some very explosive plays that can OTK any number of decks uh, including Necros because especially against decks with little to no back row this deck can ramp up really fast and put a ton of damage on the board. So let's just go over the main deck right now. So we're running three Battery Man 9 Volt. So the, he is essentially the reason why Battery Man even exists as a good playable tier 2-ish deck. And he came out pretty recently and he's the card that really ties the deck together. He's the Stratos of the deck essentially. We're running three Battery Man Charger. He ramps up for the OTK by um, special summoning a Battery Monster from your hand or deck. And we have Fuel Cell for um, Spam. We have one Industrial Strength. He is pretty good in some situations, but you only want to run one of him because his summoning cost is pretty hefty and you don't really need more than one, really. We're running three Micro, micro Cell, and we're running two Honest and two Thunder Seahorse. I played, tested a lot with one Thunder Seahorse, and even though the second Thunder Seahorse is probably going to be dead, you want to see it as soon as possible to get your 9 volt to hand, so I'm running 2 just for that. We're running 3 Battery Charger, 2 Instant Fusion for rank 4 or rank 5 plays, 3 Pot of Duality, 2 Short Circuit, 3 Storm Forth, 1 Dark Hole, 3 Call of the Haunted, 3 Mirror Force, and 3 Trap Stone. So trap stun is because this is a very OTK heavy deck, so you want to stop anything that your opponent would use in their back row to try to prevent you from going through with your combo or trying to get your attacks in. And I am running three mirror force for just the opposite reason, just so that you don't get OTK'd back yourself. Because some of the setup using 9 volt requires you to leave an open board, and mirror force is probably the best trap when you have an open board for your opponent to kind of attack into you. Okay, so let's go into the extra deck. So I'm running Dark Fire Dragon and Panzer Dragon, and these two are instant fusion targets, just to go into a quick rank 4 or rank 5 if you need to. Um, we're running 101, My Stroke, Ragna Zero, Abyss Dweller, Paladin Omega, um, Karn Gorgon, Diamond Dire Wolf, Gaga Ga Ga Cowboy, Gemini Pearl, Volcasaurus, Tiras, and Thunder Charger. So a lot of these cards you can swap around. This deck is super, super inexpensive, and that's why you see that I have a full extra deck for it, and of, of um, the cards in my extra deck, there's not even, not too many concessions that I had to make. I chose certain things for specific reasons though, but you can swap out any of these. I think you can essentially fit in anything in your extra deck that you really want to. I use Thunder Charger just for the Volca Thunder Charger combo because uh, if you get two fuel cells or a charger and then you get their attacks in or something and then you want to go into a Volcasaurus for some more burn damage or if you want to go into a Volca before you attack get the burn damage in and then swap into a Thunder Charger. That's a solid high damage play as well. And then some other cards I was thinking about but I ultimately decided not to include. Portal Battery Pack. It looks really good but Call of the Haunted ends up being better. Um, Dark Rebellion. This is up to your um, own preference. You could fit it in. You could swap in a couple of these cards out. And Castell is also preference. I didn't choose him because he was a little bit expensive and I wanted to just uh, run a full extra deck, so I didn't run Castell. Laval Vault Chain, he's alright. He doesn't give too much to the deck, so that's why I didn't add him in. And then Raigeki you can run instead of instead of uh, Dark Hole, if you have the budget for it. Uh, this card, this is just some other rank force that I was looking into as filler, because I was afraid that the deck would go over budget, but I was way under budget. And then Wiretap is another possibility instead of Trap Stun, although I prefer Trap Stun because it shuts down everything. And MST may or may not be applicable in the main depending on what you're going to face. 
So anyways, the deck, as I mentioned, was super ex inexpensive. The main deck itself came to a total of $32.53. So you could build the whole main deck for under $40, which is pretty good. And then the extra deck came to a total of $59.49. So your extra deck is essentially double the cost of your main deck. And that adds up to a total cost of $92.02. So we're still $8 shy of our $100 budget. So you still have a lot of room to play around with this deck if you want. And it's a really solid deck for that price in my opinion. It's pretty fun to play too because you are able to get your setup pretty quickly. And then you can set up for your OTK. Especially cards like Short Circuit are really fun to play because you can go... 9 volt and then either call the haunted or, or um, battery charger into another battery man monster and then you can search out fuel cell and then summon fuel cell and that's already more than 5,000 damage on board and then you can just use short circuit and then that's a clear direct shot at your opponent so that's um, a really good combo there uh, so this is a deck I'm gonna upload a video of a, some, a couple of dev pro duels that I'm playing with the, the deck just so you guys can see it in action. But this is the my $100 budget battery man deck. Tell me what you guys think about it in the comments section below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.